Kimono from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. The kimono is the national costume of Japan. Originally, the word kimono literally meant thing to wear, ki, wearing, and mono, thing, but now has come to denote a particular type of traditional full-length Japanese garment. The standard plural of the word kimono in English is kimonos, but the unmarked Japanese plural kimono is also sometimes found. Kimonos are T-shaped, straight-lined robes that fall to the ankle with collars and wide full-length sleeves. Kimonos are wrapped around the body, always with the left side over the right, except when dressing the dead for burial and secured by a wide belt called an obi, which is usually tied at the back. Kimonos are generally worn with traditional footwear, especially zori or geta, and split-toed socks, tabi. Today, kimonos are often worn by women and on special occasions. Traditionally, unmarried women wore a style of kimono called furisode, which have floor-length sleeves on special occasions. A few older women and even fewer men still wear the kimono on a daily basis. Men wear the kimono most often at weddings, tea ceremonies, and other very special or very formal occasions. Professional sumo wrestlers are often seen in the kimono because they are required to wear traditional Japanese dress whenever appearing in public. They commonly wear the kind of casual Japanese attire that is referred to as yukata, which is of plain, unlined cotton. Section 1. History As the kimono has another name, gofuku, literally, clothes of wu, the earliest kimonos were heavily influenced by the traditional Han Chinese clothing, known today as hanfu, kanfuku in Japanese. Through Japanese embassies to China, which resulted in extensive Chinese cultural adoptions by Japan, as early as the 5th century of the Common Era. It was during the 8th century, however, when Chinese fashions came into style among the Japanese and the overlapping collar became particularly a woman's fashion. During Japanese Heian period, 794 to 1192, the kimono became increasingly stylized, though one still wore a half apron called a mo over it. During the Muromachi age, 1392 to 1573, the kosode, a single kimono formerly considered underwear, began to be worn without the hakama pants over it, and thus began to be held closed by an obi belt. During the Edo period, 1603 to 1867, the sleeves began to grow in length, especially among unmarried women, and the obi became wider, with various styles of tying coming into fashion. Since then, the basic shape of both the men's and women's kimono has remained essentially unchanged. David Bowie made it a fashion statement on stage in 1972 with his Ziggy Stardust character. Kimonos made with exceptional skill from fine materials have been regarded as great works of art. Section 2. Textiles. Kimonos for men are available in various sizes, but kimonos for women are typically of a similar larger size and are adjusted to the body size by tucking and folding. An ideally tailored kimono has sleeves that end at the wrist when the arms are lowered. Men's kimono should fall approximately to the ankle without tucking. A woman's kimono is longer to allow for the ohashori, the tuck that can be seen under the obi. Kimonos are made from a single bolt of fabric called a tan. Bolts come in standard dimensions, about 14 inches wide, and twelve and a half yards long, and the entire fabric is used to make one kimono. The finished kimono consists of four main strips of fabric, two panels covering the body and two panels forming the sleeves, with additional smaller strips forming the narrow front panel and collar. Historically, kimonos were often taken apart for washing as separate panels and re-sewn by hand. Because the entire bolt remains in the finished garment without cutting, the kimono can be retailored easily to fit a different person. The maximum length of sleeve is dictated by the width of the fabric. The distance from the center of the spine to the end of the sleeve could not exceed twice the width of the fabric. 
traditional kimono fabric was typically no more than 36 centimeters, 14 inches wide. Thus, the distance from spine to wrist could not exceed a maximum of roughly 68 centimeters, or 27 inches. Modern kimono fabric is woven as wide as 42 centimeters, 17 inches, to accommodate modern Japanese body sizes. Very tall or heavy people, such as sumo wrestlers, must have kimono custom made by either joining multiple bolts of fabric together or weaving custom width fabric. Traditional kimonos are sewn by hand and their fabrics are also frequently handmade and hand decorated. Various techniques such as yuzen dai, resist, are used for applying decoration and patterns to the base cloth. Repeating patterns that cover a large area of kimono are traditionally done with the yuzen resist technique and a stencil. Over time, there have been many variations in color, fabric, and style, as well as accessories, such as the OB. The kimono and OB are traditionally made of silk, silk brocade, silk crepe, such as shimon, and satin weaves, such as runzu. Modern kimono are widely available in less expensive, easy care fabrics, such as rayon, cotton sateen, cotton, polyester, and other synthetic fibers. Silk is still considered the ideal fabric, however, and is a must for formal occasions. Customarily, woven patterns and dyed repeat patterns are considered informal. Formal kimonos have freestyle designs dyed over the whole surface or along the hem. During the Heian period, kimonos were worn with up to a dozen or more colorful contrasting layers, with each combination of colors being a named pattern. Today the kimono is normally worn with a single layer on top of a slip style undergarment. The pattern of the kimono can also determine in what season it should be worn. For example, a pattern with butterflies or cherry blossoms would be worn in spring. Watery designs are common during the summer. A popular autumn motif is the russet leaf of the Japanese maple. For winter, designs may include bamboo, pine trees, and plum blossoms. Old kimonos are often recycled in various ways, altered to make haori, hiyoku, or kimono for children, used to patch similar kimono, used to make handbags and similar kimono accessories, and used to make covers, bags, or cases for various implements, especially for sweet picks used in tea ceremonies. Kimonos with damage below the waistline can also be worn under a hakama to hide the damage. Historically, skilled craftsmen laboriously picked the silk thread from old kimono and rewove it into a new textile, the width of a heko obi, for men's kimono, using a recycled weaving method called saki ori. Section 2.1 Parts of a Woman's Kimono Dora Upper Lining Eri Collar Fuki Hem Guard Furi, sleeve below the armhole. Mae migoro, front main panel. Miyatsukuchi, opening under the sleeve. Okumi, front inside panel. Sode, sleeve. Sode guchi, sleeve opening. Sode tsuke, kimono armhole. Suso mawashi, Lower lining. Tamoto, sleeve pouch. Tomo eri, over collar. Ura eri, inner collar. Ushiro migoro, back main section. Section 3 Cost. Kimonos can be expensive. A woman's kimono may easily exceed 10,000 US dollars. A complete kimono outfit with kimono undergarments, OB, ties, socks, sandals, and accessories can exceed 20,000 US dollars. A single OB may cost several thousand dollars. However, most kimonos owned by kimono hobbyists or by practitioners of traditional arts are far less expensive. Enterprising people make their own kimono and undergarments by following a standard pattern or by recycling older kimonos. 
Cheaper and machine-made fabrics can substitute for the traditional hand-dyed silk. There is also a thriving business in Japan for second-hand kimonos, which can cost as little as 500 Japanese yen. Women's obis, however, mostly remain an expensive item, although simple patterned or plain colored ones can cost as low as 1,500 Japanese yen. Even a used OB can cost hundreds of dollars, and experienced craftsmanship is required to make them. Men's OBs, even those made from silk, tend to be much less expensive because they are narrower, shorter, and less decorative than those worn by women. Section 4. Styles. Kimonos range from extremely formal to casual. The level of formality of women's kimonos is determined mostly by the pattern of fabric and color. Young women's kimonos have longer sleeves, signifying that they are not married, and tend to be more elaborate than similarly formal older women's kimono. Men's kimonos are usually one basic shape and are mainly worn in subdued colors. Formality is also determined by the type and color of accessories, the fabric, and the number or absence of kamon, family crests, with five crests signifying extreme formality. Silk is the most desirable and most formal fabric. Kimonos made of fabrics such as cotton and polyester generally reflect a more casual style. Section 4.1 Women's Kimonos Many modern Japanese women lack the skill to put on a kimono unaided. The typical woman's kimono consists of 12 or more separate pieces that are worn, matched and secured in prescribed ways, and the assistance of licensed professional kimono dressers may be required. Called upon mostly for special occasions, kimono dressers both work out of hair salons and make house calls. Choosing an appropriate type of kimono requires knowledge of the garment's symbolism and subtle social messages reflecting the woman's age, marital status, and the level of formality of the occasion. Section 4.1.1 Koro to me sode a black kimono pattern only below the waistline is very popular and extremely Polaroid. Kuro toroko are the most formal kimono for married women. They are often worn by mothers of the bride and grooms at weddings. Kuro to me sode usually have five kamon printed on the sleeves, chest, and back of the kimono. Section 4.1.2 Furi sode Furisore literally translates as swinging sleeves. The sleeves of furisore average between 39 and 42 inches, or 1,100 millimeters in length. Furisore are the most formal kimono for unmarried women, with colorful patterns that cover the entire garment. They are usually worn at coming-of-age ceremonies, sei jin shiki, and by unmarried female relatives of the bride at weddings and wedding receptions. Section 4.1.3 Iro tome sode Single color kimono patterned only below the waistline, Iro tome sode are slightly less formal than Kuro tome sode and are worn by married women, usually close relatives of the bride and groom at weddings. And Iro tome sode may have three or five kamon. Section 4.1.4 Homongi, literally translate as visiting wear, characterized by patterns that flow over the shoulders, seams, and sleeves. Homongi rank slightly higher than their close relatives, the tsuke sage. Homongi may be worn by both married and unmarried women. Often friends of the bride will wear homongi at weddings and receptions. They may also be worn to formal parties. Section 4.1.5 Tsuke Sage has more modest patterns that cover a small area, mainly below the waist, than the more formal Homongi. They may also be worn by married women. Section 4.1.6 Iro Munji Single colored kimono that may be worn by married and unmarried women. They are mainly worn to tea ceremonies. The dyed silk may be figured, Rinzu, similar to jacquard, but has no differently colored patterns. Section 4.1.7 Komon Fine Pattern Kimono with a small, repeated pattern throughout the garment. This style is more casual 
and may be worn around town, or dressed up with a formal OB for a restaurant. Both married and unmarried women may wear komon. Section 4.1.8 Edo komon is a type of komon characterized by tiny dots arranged in dense patterns that form larger designs. The Edo komon dyeing technique originated with the samurai class during the Edo period. A kimono with this type of pattern is of the same formality as at Iro Muji, and when decorated with a kamon, may be worn as visiting wear, equivalent to a etsukesage or homonji. Section 4.1.9 Uchikake Uchikake is a highly formal kimono worn only by a bride or at a stage performance. The uchikake is heavily brocaded and is supposed to be worn outside the actual kimono and obi as a sort of coat. One therefore never ties the obi around the uchikake. It is supposed to trail along the floor. This is also why it is heavily padded along the hem. The uchikake of the bridal costume is either white or very colorful, often with red as the base color. Section 4.1.10 Susohiki or Hikizuri The susohiki is mostly worn by geisha or by stage performers of the traditional Japanese dance. It is quite long compared to regular kimono, because the skirt is supposed to trail along the floor. Susohiki literally means trail the skirt, where a normal kimono for women is normally 1.5 to 1.6 meters, or 4.7 to 5.2 feet long. A susohiki can be up to 2 meters, or 6.3 feet long. This is also why geisha and maiko lift their kimono skirt when walking outside, also to show their beautiful under kimono, or nagajuban. See below. Section 4.2 Men's Kimonos In contrast to women's kimono, men's kimono outfits are far simpler, typically consisting of a maximum of five pieces, not including footwear. Men's kimonos have long sleeves which are attached to the body of the kimono, with no more than a few inches unattached at the bottom, unlike women's styles of very deep sleeves mostly unattached from the body of the kimono. Men's sleeves are less deep than women's kimono sleeves to accommodate the OB around the waist beneath them. Whereas on a women's kimono, the long, unattached bottom of the sleeve can hang over the OB without getting in the way. In the modern era, the principal distinction between men's kimono are in the fabric. The typical kimono has subdued, dark color. Black, dark blues, greens, and browns are common. Fabrics are usually matte. Some have a subtle pattern and textured fabrics are common in more casual kimono. More casual kimono may be made in slightly brighter colors, such as lighter purples, greens, and blues. Sumo wrestlers have occasionally been known to wear quite bright colors, such as fuchsia. The most formal style of kimono is plain black, with five kamon on the chest, shoulders, and back. Slightly less formal is the three kamon kimono. These are usually paired with white undergarments and accessories. Section 5. Kimono Accessories and Related Garments Naga Juban, or simply Juban, are kimono-shaped robes worn by both men and women beneath the main outer garment. Since silk kimono are delicate and difficult to clean, the Naga Juban helps to keep the outer kimono clean by preventing contact with the wearer's skin. Only the collar edge of the Naga Juban shows from beneath the outer kimono. Many Naga Juban have removable collars, to allow them to be changed to match the outer garment, and to be easily washed without washing the entire garment. While the most formal type of Naga Juban are white, they are often as beautifully ornate and as patterned as the outer kimono. Since men's kimono are usually fairly subdued in pattern and color, the Naga Juban allows for discreetly wearing very striking designs and colors. Hara Juban are thin garments similar to undershirts. They are worn by women under the Naga Juban. Suso Yoke is a thin petticoat like garment worn by women under the Naga Juban. Sometimes the Suso Yoke and the Hara Juban are combined into a one piece garment. Eri Sugata is a special collar made for kimonos. Traditionally, an undergarment is worn under the kimono, 
just the collar of the undergarment shows. This undergarment, the juban, can be very hot during summer weather, so the eri sugata was created. The eri sugata is just the collar of the undergarment. It is used to make the kimono more formal without the wearer having to worry too much about having too many layers on or not on. Geita are wooden sandals worn by men and women with yukata. One unique style is worn solely by geisha. Hakama is a divided umanori, or undivided skirt, andon, which resembles a wide pair of pants, traditionally worn by men, but now also by women in less formal outfits, and is also worn in certain martial arts, such as Aikido. A hakama typically has pleats. A koshiata, a stiff or padded part in the lower back of the wearer, and himo, long lengths of fabric tied around the waist over the obi, described below. Hakama are worn in several budo arts, such as Aikido, Kendo, Aido, and Naginata. Hakama are also worn by women at college graduation ceremonies and by Miko on Shinto shrines. They can range from very formal to visiting wear, depending on the pattern. Haori is a hip or thigh-length kimono jacket which adds formality. Haori were originally reserved for men until fashions changed at the end of the Meiji period. They are now worn by both men and women, though women's kimono jackets tend to be longer. Haori himo is a tasseled, woven string fastener for the haori. The most formal color is white. Heppi is a type of haori traditionally worn by shopkeepers and is now associated mostly with festivals. Hanten is the workman's version of the gentleman's haori, often padded for warmth as opposed to somewhat lighter happy. Hiyoku is a type of under kimono, historically worn by women beneath the kimono. Today, they are only worn on formal occasions such as weddings and other important social events. Kanzashi are hair ornaments worn by women in the coiffure hairstyle that often accompanies kimono. These may take the form of silk flowers, wooden combs, and jade hairpins. Obi. An obi is a sash worn with kimono by both men and women. Obi-ita is a thin, fabric-covered board placed under the obi by women to keep its shape. It is also called a mae-ita. Datejimi is a thin sash worn around the obi. This is usually now only used in more formal situations. This is also called a datemaki. Koshihimo are thin sashes tied to keep the kimono in place while getting dressed and to keep it from moving during wear. Samue are the everyday clothes for a male Zen Buddhist monk and the favored garment for shakuhachi players. Tabi are ankle-high divided toe socks usually worn with zori or geta. They also come in a boot form. Waraji are straw roped sandals which are mostly worn by monks. Yukata is an informal, unlined, summer kimono, usually made of cotton, linen, or hemp. Yukata are most often worn to outdoor festivals by men and women of all ages. They are also worn at onsen, hot spring resorts, where they are often provided for the guests in the resort's own pattern. Zori are cloth, leather, or grass-woven sandals. Zori may be highly decorated with intricate stitching or with no decoration. They are worn by both men and women. Grass-woven zori with white straps, called hanao, are the most formal for men. They are similar in design to flip-flops. Fundoshi are traditional male underwear or loincloth. Section 5.1 Hiyoku The hiyoku is the floating lining or under kimono traditionally worn under kimono. There are various meanings involved in kimono hiyoku layering, though mostly these are not used in everyday modern Japanese life. Often today, instead of an entirely separate lining, the hiyoku refers to a lining sewn into the kimono itself. There is no special meaning ascribed to a hiyoku worn in this way. Section 5.2 Layering In modern day Japan, the meanings of the layering of kimono and hiyoku are usually forgotten. Only maiko and geisha now use this layering technique for dances and subtle erotic suggestion, usually emphasizing the back of the neck. Modern Japanese brides may also wear a traditional Shinto kimono, which is worn with a hiyoku. Traditionally, kimonos were worn with hiyoku or floating linings. 
Hyoku can be a second kimono worn beneath the first and give the traditional layered look to the kimono. Often in modern kimonos, the hyoku is simply the name for the double-sided lower half of the kimono, which may be exposed to others' eyes depending on how the kimono is worn. Old-fashioned kimono styles meant that hyoku were entirely under kimono. However, modern-day layers are usually only partial to give the impression of layering. Section 6. Care of Kimonos in the past, a kimono would often be entirely taken apart for washing and then re-sewn for wearing. This traditional washing method is called arai hari. Because stitches must be taken out for washing, traditional kimono need to be hand-sewn. Arai hari is very expensive and difficult and is one of the causes of the declining popularity of kimono. Modern fabrics and cleaning methods have been developed that eliminate this need although the traditional washing of kimono is still practiced, especially for high-end garments. A new custom-made kimono will be delivered to the customer with long, loose basting stitches placed around the outside edges. These stitches are called shituke ito and are sometimes replaced for storage. They help to prevent bunching, folding, and wrinkling, and keep the kimono's layers in alignment. Like many other traditional Japanese garments, there are specific ways to fold kimonos. These methods help to preserve the garment and to keep it from creasing when stored. Kimonos are often stored wrapped in paper. Kimonos need to be aired out at least seasonally and before and after each time they are worn. Many people prefer to have their kimono dry cleaned. Although this can be extremely expensive, it is generally less expensive than arai hari and may be impossible for certain fabrics or dyes. This sound file and all the text in the article are licensed under the new free documentation license available at www.new.org slash copyleft slash fdl.html.